All right, first things first, you're gonna take the bag that came with your pistol, and if you got an optics cup, you should, re should have received this. Dump it all out here without losing any of the screws. All right, set that aside. Make sure we'll put it on the corner over here. Now you're gonna take all these plates and just to make things easy, we're gonna just lay them out here so they are all nice and aligned ever so nicely. All right, and now for the screws, you'll be able to easily distinguish the pairs that go together. So we're just gonna separate those out so we can easily identify each set. And here we go. Nice, all right, now we got things organized so we got a nice workspace. All right, now you take your MMP, make sure it is unloaded by removing the magazine. And while keeping your finger off the trigger, always, all right, we're gonna lock it back. Check the chamber, make sure nothing's in there. And this is optional, you can work, you can do all this with the pistol assembled, but I like to just take the slide off just because it's easier. So we're gonna take it apart like we would if we we're gonna clean it. So take the thing, take the barrel out. So they got there, set this stuff aside. And now we got left with that. Now. Let's just quickly take the cover off here using the old Ellen wrench. Nothing fancy. All right, take the cover off. Set those aside. Now, if you look on here, see how we have these little circles here. They're actually studs that kind of stick out a little bit. That is because if you look at the plates here, they also have a small hole and a big hole, and that's so that it will fit on the slide nice and flush. And it's also designed that way so you can't put it backwards. Because if you put it backwards, it's not gonna lay down flush and you won't be able to get the screws in. So you can see a little gap in there. So it's a nice little design. So we know the place can only go on one way. And now the important part here, we have our optic. I'm gonna be mounted the Holosyn 507C X2. And if you look on the bottom here, you'll see this bottom surface is what's called the footprint. Now, not all pistol optics share the same footprint. There's not a universal standard that all pistol optics follow, but some do share with each other. So what the footprint is, is basically where the holes, in this case, I'm gonna call these the socket holes. They're not ones that pass through. And then you have the holes where the screws go through to mount the pistol to the optic. Now, some will have four stud holes or socket holes in the bottom of the optic here, which will correlate with, say, one of these that has four studs on them. See, they got the four studs. But this one only has, but well, this only has two. So right there, we can already look at all these plates, find the ones that only have two studs on them. So we got one here that has two, and we got, that's four, this one's two, and these are all four. So we're gonna set those aside. And just like that, we've already narrowed it down to two. So we're going to take, we'll try one here. This one does not fit, because if you look on here, see the stud does not fit inside the socket holes. It's not that one, which leaves us with only one that we put on. And this one, there we go. Nice and flush. And you can see the screw holes are open and ready to go. And if we go, if we put this on the slide, if it's in the correct orientation, it is not backwards, that is our plate. So now that we found our plate, make note of the type name that is on here. This guy is type 
one. Remember that, it's gonna be important here in a moment. So, once we figured out the plate, now you're gonna need the manual. I know, you should not have thrown this away. Shame on you. So, in the manual you will find this handy dandy little chart called the MMP M20 Core Mounting Plate and Screw Matrix. My goodness, that is a mouthful. The chart that tells you what screws go to which plate. So, how this works, let's say you ended up with plate number three. Number three is the only one that worked with your optic. What you're gonna do from here is you're going to slide down until you get to the footprint that is used for it. In this case, plate number three uses the footprint doctor. This, I believe, is what the uh, Vortex Venom uses. So if you have one of those, this is probably the plate you're gonna be using and, and that's your footprint. Now, once you get to your footprint, you come up and then tells you what screws to use. In this case, it's screw type C, which you can, you know, do the whole match the pictures. And again, they're pretty easy to distinguish, so it would be these guys. So voila, that's how you find them out. So, in my case, I had type one. This, it's the Trigicon RMR footprint. And this one, if you go up, it says, use the 632 screws supplied by Trigicon. In my case, I use the ones that Holosun gave me. So, I already took them out of the box. I use the screws that come with the red dot, in my case. And there you have it. That is how you find out what screws and what plates go to your optic. And now, the fun part, mounting it. It's actually quite straight, pretty straightforward. You'll throw the plate on. You will throw the optic on. And then you will, in my case, I'll use the tool that came with Holosun. Now you can, it's also a good idea to put some blue Loctite on there. This one comes with some already. And yes, it's kind of, I've taken it off before. And what's cool is that some of these other screws that come with Smith & Wesson, they also have the yellow stuff on there. It comes with some Loctite, which is really nice. Now, if you have a torque wrench, now is a good time to use it. They say, at least with my optic, they say to use 15 inch pounds, not foot pounds, inch pounds. Now, let's say you don't have a torque wrench, in which case, just get it to where it's snug, don't go too tight, where you get to the bottom, and then just do just a little knee. That's it, just a little knee. Go back and forth a little bit, don't go super crazy. Last thing you wanna do is strip these things and then have to go to a gunsmith and explain that you went crazy Hulk on them and you have to thread new holes for you. There we go. And that is how you mount the optic to your pistol. Then you just reassemble the gun and you're good to go.